Welcome to Amateur Carper, my name is Ash and this is the very first video that I'll be uploading to the channel. Um, the reason for me putting Amateur Carper together is that I've only been carp fishing for just over a year and when I started I didn't have the faintest idea on what to do. I've had some fantastic support and some great advice along the way and to be honest I've had an absolutely cracking year um, and I've found something that I fell in love with so I'd like to share that with you guys. Hopefully we can show you a few fish along the way and hopefully you're going to enjoy the channel. We're here at um, the Bridge and Fishery. I've had a good walk around. I have seen a fish crash right in the middle, so um, I'm just gonna keep my eyes on the water and see how we get on. Um, there's a lot of people on the lake this morning, so it's quite busy, so there's not many options to go for, but I'm gonna have a look at the lake, see if I can suss out where the carp are, and then we'll catch up later. So we've got the rods out, found the spots, just gonna wait and sit tight and hopefully we'll uh, nick a nice bite. Um, it was still quite dark when we got here, but when I got here, it was very clear that it was gonna be a busy day. There's a lot of anglers on the lake, so it's fairly overcrowded, but to be fair, you know, the weather's right. Um, it's raining, overcast, low pressure, um, and it's fairly warm for this time of year. I think we're on about 13 degrees, which is quite nice. It's supposed to be getting up to 17 degrees over the next few days. So we'll see what we have out the lake, if anything. But um, yeah, all set up. I'm on peg seven. Got my rods out in the middle of the water, sort of open water really. I have seen a fish top this morning right out in the open water. Just seen another fish top, which is right at the back margin, which is no good for me because that's two or three swims down for where I'm at, but they are this side of the lake, so that's always a good sign. So I'm gonna get tucked up, have an hour's kit, um, and hopefully we'll get a bite and show you a fish later. Oh, Get in, mate. Get in. Well done. Good start. Oh. Well, there we have it. Um, turned up this morning. I wasn't full of confidence as the lake's quite busy, but chucked a few singles out with um, some citrus pop-ups, uh, a little bit of fizz, fizz mix in a in a stick on the hook and um, a couple hours later we're in with the first fish so I'll show you her now she's coming at 18.3 she's a bit angry but she's an absolute stunner and this is why I like fishing the bridge you don't know what you're going to catch but they're always beautiful look at her we'll get her back After safely returning the carp back to where it belongs, I reset my rigs and got those rods back out into the water. I watched the lake for a few hours just before it started to get dark, and then I prepared myself for the night ahead. It didn't take long before the rod was off. But unfortunately, this is not what we were after. Are you actually joking me? Shortly after that, the rod was away again with a funny bite, but this time, it was definitely a carp.
just had another fish that weighed in at 17.1. It's nothing massive, but wait until I show you this fish. Hopefully you'll sit like me and no matter what weight it come in at, you'll think that is an absolute beauty. Look at that. Oh, the power gold. Just look at the colours on that. Absolutely fantastic. Oh. Just show you the other side quick. And then we'll get you back, shall we? Stunner. Fish number two. Right, let's get you back. Well, wow. had my rods in since, well, since I got up this morning. So it's been a few hours now since I've had the rods in. Um, unfortunately, there was no fish through the night, but I'm happy, happy so far. I came here expecting to catch one if I was lucky, and we've had two carp and unfortunately a bream, but you know, you've got to take them with a pinch of salt, haven't you? Um, same as yesterday. Lake's really busy, a lot of people turned up this morning. So I've pulled my rods in and I've decided I'm gonna keep my rods in and just try and suss out the lake because when you start getting leads flying in and people turning up, especially when it hasn't been fished too heavily, you, you find that you can either switch the fish off or in some cases the fish will move and you get better indications. It's just really hard to tell what's gonna happen, but I've probably walked the lake about three or four times uh, maybe even more than that actually, I've just gone back and forth, back and forth and try to see where the fish are. I haven't seen anything down the deep end and talking to other anglers on the lake, they haven't seen anything either. Um, except from one chap, he reckon he's, he has seen a little bit of activity around the, around the bend of the bowl. So um, there are a few indications that they could be up that end, but I have actually seen fish this side. So I saw one this morning from just off the island. Um, on the right hand side and then I saw a mirror jump out twice just off the overhanging tree so there's two completely different spots where I've seen fish um, I've had both my carp in between the two so what that, what that suggesting is is and from experience of fishing here that's suggesting that the carp are moving up and down that gravel bar so in the middle there's a gravel bar that goes from the island that goes right up to the overhanging tree so that, that's what it's telling me, but it's really difficult at the moment to judge where to go. So, I bit the bullet and I packed all my stuff down. After a day of walking up and down this lake, I decided that I'm gonna move. So I've literally not been fishing all day. Um, like I said, loads of people turned up this morning. I wasn't feeling it, you know, I think it was over pressured. Lots of leads flying in around my swim. And I just thought, I'm just gonna reel in. Um, yeah, and, and just watch the water. So I've been walking up and down all day. Judge where people are going, where people are fishing, who's leaving, who's coming. 
Um, and I kind of had it in my mind from early on that their fish were down this side of the lake. I, I said earlier I saw a mirror jump twice just under that overhanging tree. And just as I've walked down here later in the day as, as well, I've seen two or three fish jump on that side as well. So I'm really confident that the fish are here. Um, the guys on the right hand side of me, just down there, they have moved now. So I've got all of this water to work with. Um, and, the, and the guys in the car park swim have just literally packed up and left. So I've managed to get one right over to that overhanging tree where the fish have been showing. Um, the middle rod is out in open water, just on the edge of a gravel bar. And then my left rod, is, it's kind of a pub chuck, but I've fished this swim quite a few times. And on my left, there's a nice little solid silty spot just on the back of some lilies which have died down now um, but there's forever carp top in there so I've just kept them all really simple citrus pop up little fizz mix stick and um, I'll put a few maggots in there as well and a few citrus pellet um, some people say fishing's boring you know you just sit there and do nothing but I can assure you if you really get your head into it and try and look for the fish it can get really exciting you know really exciting and it feels so much more rewarding to get fish if you put the work in so I'm really confident I hope I have a fish and if I do I'm gonna feel so grateful for it because I've worked hard to suss out where I'm going and what I'm doing so it's getting on to seven o'clock and I've had a couple of liners one on my left rod one on my middle rod which is out in the open um, Get in. Oh. Get in. <laughs> First scream of the trip. Oh. She's angry, she's rolling on the line as well. Come on. Oh, she's She's angry. She's angry. Oh my god, that is an absolute beast. Come on this way. Oh my god. What an absolute beauty. Oh, look at you. Get in. I can't tell you how excited I am right now. The battle was mega. I, I nearly thought I lost this fish. It may actually be my biggest fish. It may be my PB. Get in. Oh, I'm so excited. Come on, let's have a look at her. I'm, I'm just lost for words. <sighs> I'm absolutely lost for words. This this is by far one of my most memorable battles with a carp. Weighing it at 29 pounds, which is my new PB. Look at this beautiful carp. <sighs> just look at it. <sighs> what a beauty. <sighs> Look at that, absolute stunner. Oh, absolute stunner. What a beauty. Let's get it back. What 
an absolute cracker that fish was. Um, just thought I'd give you a quick update now I've, I've put her back. Oh, I'm still lost for words, so excuse me if I'm a bit overexcited. So just as I was reeling the fish in, um, just as it got to the edge of my swim, it took my left rod out. So I got the fish in the net, netted it, weighed it, gave it some fish care. Um, there's not really much to do really, I just put a little bit of um, some fish care on its inside of its lip where the hook is because there was no sort of damage, no scale damage or anything like that. Um, and then I put her in the retainer sling just to just to let her relax because you know we've both been in both been in a battle. Um, so I let her relax. But whilst I did that, I took my left rod in, um, redid the rig. It's only the hook was still sharp, everything was fine, so I just put a new pop-up on, wrapped up, cast it out. So for the entire time whilst I was dealing with the fish, the there's a rod on that spot where I've just caught a fish and that's the best time to get the rod back out you know you've just had a fish shaking its head over there um, it's caused a bit of disruption so if they are going to come back you know get the rod out get the rig out back as quick as you can anyway for now I'm gonna get tucked up in bed stick a film on so I'll see you tomorrow time to pack up. I'm going to get all the gear packed down and head off now but had three days of winter carp fishing and I must say this must be the best trip that I've ever had. When I turned up as I've said I had near to no confidence. I said that's finished but I think we're into our last bream of the trip. There we are. We're not quite done yet. We've got ourselves a bream. Well, I think we are actually done now. Just finished up with my last bream of the trip, but um, what a fantastic three days we've had. Three stunning carp, a 29 pounder, which is my new PB, and it is New Year's Eve as well. So what a way to finish off the year. Um, just want to say thanks to everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've, I have fishing. Um, Oh, the best trip I've had this year by far so thanks for watching if you'd like to see more do subscribe um, and I'm sure we'll see each other on the bank sometime so take care and happy new year to everybody